Okay, when I put my foot on the brake, it went straight down to the floor. Here um, is my brake master uh, cylinder. And I had to um, replace it because my brake was going on, my brakes were going all the way down to the floor. So um, I replaced that. Basically, um, let me get a close up. This is my brake master cylinder. This project, one day my brakes went all the way to the floor. I, I was having problems, um, and I was hearing a strange noise. So I replaced my brake master cylinder here with the reservoir. Um, on top. I had to um, unplug these two lines here. Here's one here. This is, this is a 1998 Ford Explorer. Have a line here and a brake line here. And I disconnected this electrical connector here. And there are two screws. There's one on this side. And there's one right down here. I don't know if you can see my finger. Another screw right there. And once I um, unplugged that, um, that, that was pretty much it. Some of these come with just this, this bottom section, and you, you, you plug in the reserver, but it's best to, to buy the, um, the whole thing, because it's kind of hard to get the reserver um, inside of the, um, the bottom section there, but um, it, was, it was a very easy job to do. Like I said again, I unplugged this line here, and another line right here, and two bolts. One bolt here on the right side, and another bolt down here on the uh, left side as, I, as, as I'm, I'm facing my brake master cylinder. Okay, and I unplugged the electrical connector and it, it just slid out. And I'll just and, um, insert the new one and just reverse the process. It was a very easy job to do, and it, it would cost you to have that done at a, uh, a shop. Okay, I forgot to mention, uh, before I could install the uh, new brake master cylinder, I had to fill it um, with brake fluid, the, the, the new one, the brake fluid, and take uh, a line and connect it to um, this side, another line to this side, and actually take a screwdriver and push it here and uh, pump the air out of out of the, the system before I could install it. So I, I would pump and pump until the air goes back into the mass and the to the reserver. And I would keep pumping until the air actually stops flowing through the lines. And then I would um, and, uh, install this big master cylinder. Okay, before I could install the master cylinder, I had to um, connect these hoses to the side where the, uh, where the lines connect. And I had to take them, stick, stick them inside of the reserver. And I, t I actually had to set this whole system inside of a vise, which I don't have with me now. And I had to take a screwdriver and, and insert it here and, and apply pressure. And bubbles would come up out, out of the lines and go back into the reserver. I had to make sure that they didn't come out so no air would get back in. So I would have to pump and pump and keep pumping until the air stopped flowing through the lines. And that, he and that helped clear my brake master, master cylinder so, I can, um, so that I could install it uh, ready to go. And once I install it, my, my brakes did not go back to the floor. Everything was fine. I had to breathe, um, and bleed all four brake lines all over again, and everything was fine.